Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crash Designs. Today, I've got a little bit of Pearl Primo. Uh, Primo Accents. I'm just going to slice off about an eighth of an inch. Okay. Now, this time I'm not going to run it through the pasta machine or anything else. The, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it up. Again, just like eighth of an inch segments. The size isn't too specific or anything just nothing too small all right that should be enough now I've got a, just a small ziploc bag it doesn't matter the size I'm going to put this in the bag, trying not to stick it back together too much, which it probably will do anyway, but... Alright, now I've got a little bit of, this is the primary elements, the teal zircon. The top of mica powder really doesn't matter. Um, you just want to use something similar to the color of alcohol ink you're using. Alright, so, just let it loose with a few sprinkles of that. Then I've got the Sailboat Blue. Um, this is the Adirondack Alcohol Ink. Which, I don't know whether it matters or not, because yes, I do have the Patina Alcohol Inks. But I've never used them. So again, just a few drops of the alcohol ink. Now, I'm just holding the top closed, but keeping the air that's in the bag. Now, 
shaking it a bit to distribute the alcohol ink and the mica powder around. Alright, that looks like a good, goodly amount. Now, I'm going to open the bag and I'm just going to leave it to set until the alcohol evaporates away a bit. And then I'll be back. Okay, I went ahead and gave it about 30 minutes just to be sure. It won't be all the way dry, but it will be more dry than it was. Alright, then I'm going to just compact it down together. Then try to get it out of the bag. <laughs> right. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to keep from getting blue, so. All right. Now I'm just going to really roughly, or it's not really how I want to say it, but really gingerly bring it into a ball. You don't really want to disturb the inside too much. Okay, at this point, I probably would let it set again. It's it's a little tacky and just a little soft for my liking. So, I'm going to let it set for another 30 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay. It's still a little soft, but this um this particular Primo pearl was really fresh so I'm gonna make a slice there we go now you'll be able to see all of those little chunks that we cut come back together really pretty here's another one I did this one I did with translucent the uh, I believe it's the white translucent here's some more I did this one was with a um, mm -hmm. A tinted bit of translucent with I believe it was the meadow and the sailboat blue mixed together alcohol ink I believe the green that I used with the translucent is the citrus and then here's another one this one was the same uh, citrus matrix, um, but the alcohol the alcohol ink that I used <clears throat> was different. It was the brown the brown one that I believe doesn't have a name on it. So, but it really turned out really pretty. I like it. I like that it looks, I don't want to say more like a stone, but a little like just a stone you picked up out of the driveway or something and it decided to polish. So, that's the three colors I started with. Now, you can choose to round the shape a little more, but I kind of like that 
natural, I don't know what you want to call it, but Now you'll notice that I'm using a sawing motion. That's just to keep from distorting those pieces very much. Now I don't know if you can tell, but it does leave a sort of saw <laughs> cut on the surface but we'll deal with that in a minute okay so it looks like we'll get four out of this particular collection okay <clears throat> now I've got an acrylic sanding block that as you can see <laughs> I've used I've used it for years, but anyway. Uh, the one thing I will say about the acrylic, um, the same thing goes with your acrylic rod. If you clean it with alcohol ink, I mean, if you clean it with alcohol, it will, it will cause the layers of the acrylic to start to fracture now that won't it won't inhibit your use of the of the rod but it will change the way it looks now I don't know if you can see no because even I can't see <laughs> but anyway <clears throat> that will happen so I'm just going to take the acrylic block Okay, sorry about that, I had a coughing fit So, I just took the acrylic block and flattened them out and the reason I use the acrylic block instead of trying to flatten them with my fingers or something like that is because it puts an even pressure on the entire piece so that way you won't get like this bit right here has a little hole but if I tried to flatten it with my fingers I would actually open up that hole more so with the acrylic block it's just gonna flatten the piece so it won't open those holes up more and then you can after baking you can choose to put resin on them or you can just choose to leave them now this side is the sanded and buffed side this side is the side that was to the ceramic block so you'll see that it's got a shiny appearance I actually like that side uh, on these particular pieces so again I'm gonna bake these for an hour 270 once again I've got two oven thermometers in there that are just to check the temperature because as I always say 
the oven dial is always wrong. Mine says 320 for it to bake on 275. So, check your oven. I shall be back. Okay, here they are out of the oven. Now, I'm out of UV resin. It's probably in the mailbox, but... So, I won't be showing you how to do that today, but... There are lots and lots of colors you could try this with. Imagine a gold with a black acrylic ink. I mean, alcohol ink. Wouldn't that be pretty? Or a silver with a, with a blue. That would really be pretty. So, lots and lots of ideas. For you to try this with. Now like I said. I know they won't turn out. All turn out perfectly. But. It's a really fun technique. With a lot of potential. Try it. Try it with me and you'll see. Thank you so much for watching. If you got any inspiration out of this video whatsoever please like share and subscribe all my social media links will be listed below bye for now